Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you an NFL matchup in the NFC North between the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. Now, Green Bay has to come in offensively, and what they did well against San Francisco is they were able to use their short passing game as a complement to their deep passing game. So they pretty much use it as their running attack this week. That's what you have to do. We know you guys are not going to run the football, even though you have a back in Brandon Jackson that you probably can give the football to. So one thing that's important, guys, continue that same game plan this week. Utilize your short passing game to to supplement your running attack against the Detroit Lions because what the Detroit Lions want to do up front, especially with their front four, is get after the quarterback, keep these guys off balance by utilizing that short passing game to ease off that pressure. Now, defensively coming to this matchup, you look at what Detroit is doing well. They can operate well out of the shotgun, whether it be Stanton back there or Sean Hill. I think Stanton is going to get to start again this week. So one thing you have to do, guys, you have to make sure you stay on the inside of these wide receivers of the Detroit Lions, guys, because if they can attack the, the deep, the deep uh, posts or the skinny posts or the, or the slants, they can effectively tear up your defense. One thing that's important to stay on the inside, wall these guys off. You're going to force stand in the hill to throw the football accurately deep down the field, but it should give your defensive pressure a chance to get after the quarterback. And also, you have to protect your gaps because if you allow Java Best to sneak out one of those creases and bounce to the outside, guess what? He has the speed to take it a distance. He also has the agility to make a lot of defenders lose their ACL on the field turf. So one thing that's important, guys, protect the gaps. Gap discipline against Detroit in that run game, and you guys should be able to get pressure on not only on their run game, but also on the quarterback. Now you look at Detroit coming to this game. Detroit has to come in right away and set the tone offensively. You guys are playing well at home. Dictate the pace, guys. You guys have a ball control, have a fast break, but ball control offense, if that makes sense. You guys can run out the spread, but you guys control the pace of the game. That's what you have to do against a team like Green Bay. Green Bay is going to try to dictate the pace. They're going to try to play up-tempo defensively and offensively to put you at a disadvantage. So what you have to do is match their speed with your slow, methodical offense, but running out of the spread formation, guys. You guys can do well by dinking and dunking your way down the field, taking your deep shots to Calvin Johnson, or even hitting Burleson on those shallow cross routes, or even deep in routes, those dig routes. So that's one thing you guys do well. Continue to have some control on offense, dictate the pace offensively. Now you look at your defensive side of the football, same rules apply, guys. You can't allow the Packers wide receivers inside position because that's going to put pressure on your safeties. That's going to take away the safeties in the passing game and force Rodgers to go to the outside because if you allow these wide receivers to threaten the inside coverage of your defense, therefore the outside is going to be wide open and Rodgers has a, a strong arm, one of the best deep ball throwers in the league. He can hit that deep pass down the field accurately, so you have to make sure you don't allow inside position on these wide receivers. And you also look at your, your run defense. Guys, they won't run the ball, so guess what? A lot of different zone blitzes, a lot of exotic blitzes to get that added pressure on Rodgers. Because if you can get to Rodgers and tackle him, that's a guy that's that's going to fold. He's going to you know he's going to protect the football. Number one, he's not going to let let you guys strip it out of his hands. So one thing that's important, you can send that extra man because they don't have a threat to run the football. I'm going with Green Bay in this matchup. Green Bay is one of the more explosive offenses in the league. Defensively, they're doing enough to get pressure especially against a team like Detroit that hasn't shown they can run the football when it comes with some consistency to back off that pressure. So you got to go with the Packers in this game, although the Lions are playing well at home. I just right now need the Lions to make sure they run the football with some consistency to keep that pressure at bay. I don't think they do so. Green Bay goes in on the road and takes one from Detroit. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.